Hey guys, we're gonna be playing uh Roblox uh for FNAF instead of actual FNAF because I am too cheap to buy it. But it's but it's Roblox, so don't expect to actually be good. This is a really good game. Yeah. Okay. See if we can win. Okay. know what that says so pretty much it's just cameras right now nothing really happens till 1 a.m. so I'm just gonna Whoa! Okay, one curse word in this video, because I heard it. It's one. Okay, Bonnie's gone. Bonnie's right there. And Chica's right there. Okay, cool. Freddy, you gonna move? No. I <laughs> like doing that. Why does your power go down so fast in this game? See, look. 76. Yeah, let me turn up my sound. <gasps> For the nice stuff. Mm-hmm. Can I have my phone back now? Thank you. You're welcome. Why? Oh, you're coming down the hall fast, aren't you? We're at 69%! Ha ha ha! Let's get back over there. I don't have to do that. Uh, 
one, two, three, why don't you pick up some of the trash? There's so much trash here that I'm pretty sure that every time I walk five feet and pick up all the trash there, I would have to get a new bag. Supreme? Okay. So, doing pretty good. It's 3 a.m. Oh, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Yeah. I remember playing this. I had Oh, Bonnie's just in there. Okay, so for this river, this is the farthest that I can go. I don't feel like getting shot, so... But I know where there's a second river slash rain reservoir or whatever you call it. 20 lights, there we go. Or 20 lights and I stick my whole body inside of that. Yeah, this area I used to film a lot in, but construction just turned into a giant rock dump. Okay, this area, I also filmed a bunch of my videos here. Okay, you're back I there, I don't really care. Right here, so hopefully I'm not trespassing. Here's the river. I'm first gonna start by going that way. I see you. Like more clothing and more glass. It's everywhere. Hopefully it doesn't poke through my shoe. What is this? Wait, oh no. Oh, they're just back there. Why, yes it is. Where's the other part? What is it with people disposing of jeans here? Water bottle. Glove. It kind of looks full. Ugh. Hopefully that's dirt in there. I'm not checking. Build that wall. Build that wall. There we go. There's this. Okay, it's there. And on this side, you can see that the rainwater is still collected there. There's a no trespass inside there, and right there. So I'm going to keep on walking right here, and as long as I don't go over there, I should be fine, just judging by the sign placement. Water is pretty clean here. Not much trash at all. Bold. Oh, okay, Frick. Actually, let me take a closer look at it. Huh. It's from the Department of Defense. A big top though for war fighters? What is this doing here? Is this sold in stores? I don't know. US government property. Where's Chica? Hmm. Hmm. Some delicious berries. Yeah, past these no trespassing signs. This was where I filmed hunting for a new camera about a year ago. And I didn't see any of these signs a few months ago. Did they put these signs up because they saw my video? Alright, river is starting to dry up in this area. Okay. So walk down here again. Holy sweater. Ew. Can I make this jump? Oh, oh, okay, that turned out really soft. <laughs> oh, she's in the restrooms back okay. there. Uh, this piece of trash is relevant since it's the spooky month. I don't know how there you go. Just more tree roots hoarding and stuff. That's a long sweater. Also, is that a sleeping bag? Someone must have camped here. Technology. They left. You're just in here. That's fine. I can remove this now. This river is a goodwill. Forest acres. What's left of some jeans? Uh, cool! Oh, wait. Not cool. Wait, where's Chica? Wow! Yay! We did the first night! 
I'm gonna do another one. Metal badge. What does that say? <laughs> I see a dog and a cat. It was probably part of a scratchy post, but I don't know what this thing is. This sweater is thick. Cool. What is this? A curtain? A tarp? Hmm. Was that insulation or something? More clothing. I've never actually been this far this way before. <laughs> cool. Like a scarecrow. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Big metal thing. Hmm. Lighter. Ooh. Spooky. It would be more spooky if there wasn't a road right there. Eight. Grandma's dead. I there we go. Something. Holding <coughs> chair. Hmm. What is this? Just a tire. More technology. We own some sort with more clothing. Mm. Oh my god, a phone. Okay, I reached the end of this side. To get to that side, I'll have to cross the street, but there's no crosswalk, so I'm gonna try to crawl through here. Oh, pray for me. Ew. Disgusting. This was a mistake. Almost there. Ha! <laughs> Okay. I if it's not gonna load, I'm just gonna do a part two then. So yeah, this is part one. Oh wait, no, it loaded right whenever I was gonna end the video. Let's continue. Night two. There we go, come on, let's go. Okay. So let's wait. I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow of me getting a new pool. And no, I'm not gonna do things. Okay, okay, cool. That's cool. I'm pretty sure I walked a mile or two away from my house and somehow I ended up on an urban trail system. Ugh, I hate hiking. Even though that's what I've been doing for the past several hours. Yeah, not much interesting finds out here. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Like the video if you're surprised I didn't get murdered out here or anywhere else and i don't know if i'll do more of these videos. Yeah, okay we're active in the dark though so hey i guess that's one more reason to not run out of power right i also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights there are blind spots in your camera views and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors so if if you can't find something or someone on your cameras be sure to check the door lights uh, you might only have a few seconds to react, uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course, I'm not implying that. Also, I know that Fox is gonna come out. From time to time. The character in there seems unique, in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. I guess he doesn't like being watched, I don't know. Anyways, I'm sure you'll have everything under control. Uh, good luck, talk to you soon. Hey guys, Okay, cool. Okay, nothing happens really in the first hours. Okay, so, Bonnie has moved. Chica has moved. Where has Chica gone? We shall find out. Luckily, 
Okay. I don't know where she R went. It didn't even have its original artwork. It had that weird GameStop artwork at the time. But I loved it. I remember 100%ing the game. Wish I still had that copy. Cause after several years, I got bored of it. And being a middle school okay. with several issues, I randomly destroyed it for fun. Didn't even take a video. What was wrong with me? This is another copy I got off of eBay for four dollars. Anyway, before I destroyed it, I heard that Club Penguin was releasing a sequel to Elite Penguin Force called Herbert's Revenge. Herbert is a polar bear, and his character oh, been there you are, Chica. Penguin, Where'd you go? Technically, where did you twice. go? So I knew I had to get the new game, cause Herbert was so hot. Oh, uh, what? Did you hear something? Okay, there we go. to the DSI and played it for several hours. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. But why? Okay. Well, let's compare the two games. P.S. This isn't my original copy. I destroyed it because I hated it so much. At least at the time I made a video. Filmed using my MacBook and 3DS. What was wrong with me? This copy, I also okay. got off of eBay for four dollars. Anyways, the comparison. Let's start off with the meat of these two games. The missions. On the Club Penguin website, if you are a secret agent, you can play these cool point-and-click missions. It was pretty fun to solve them, and the best part was, they were cool. free. You just have to become a secret agent to access them. So, They're in there. In Elite Penguin Force for the Nintendo DS, the meat of the game is doing similar point-and-click secret agent missions. All 13 missions are original and were made specifically for the Nintendo DS. They may have been kind oh, of you're in there, aren't you? too easy, but I didn't mind that much, as it was fun to be playing brand new secret agent missions on the go without needing internet. And after you're done with I know you're looking up my, at me. You went into the supply closet. Okay, you're there. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, they're there. They are there. I'm good at fun that's ready, so that's why I'm not scared. Literally, if I turned off face cam right now, I would have a straight face. Literally. Okay. And some puzzles from the online versions are removed from the DS version for some reason. Plus, in mission seven, they left dialogue in that was meant for a side quest no. in the online what? version. You can't help it. Because in the online version, you're supposed to go to the gadget room, but it won't let you in this version. Making the player wonder endlessly how to solve it. 
I should note that several other online mission side quests are ported over, and they are completable, except for that one. But you get no reward for doing them, unlike the online versions. The final difference between the online oh, Foxy. and the Foxy, no, buddy, is that Gary knew there had to be an original element in the ported missions, or else people would riot. So he decided to hide snake tokens throughout the ported missions. To find all of them, you have to decode a message at the start of each mission for a hint to find out where they will be in the mission. I'm at 18%, 5 a.m. A touchscreen version of Snake. Symbolizing this DS game is just as fun as playing with a Nokia 3310. After playing through the six ported missions, you finally get to play new and original Herbert missions. Body kill. Missions 8 and 10 are alright, but there's this infuriating part in Mission 9 where you have to get your fellow agents to look for clues around the island. And to do that in each area, you have to play the laziest mini games and win, or else they won't search and you have to try again. Jetpack Guy has the easiest mini game where you just have to tap the screen when the target is in the center. Dot has a mini game where you have to dress her up in the appropriate costume. Kind of reminds me of those okay, flash okay. dress-up games. And Rookie, the retarded penguin, has this minigame based on luck, where you have to spin a spinner and have it land on a magnet. No, come on. Or else you won't come on. This makes me want to stab and choke him. Speaking of minigames, come on. another major part of these DS games Oh, is yeah! and ice fishing. I don't mind that they are ports because mini games are supposed to have replay value. Missions on the other hand are fun once then you never want to play them again. Also, the ported mini games have a good amount of differences. Yay, I got night two. Let's do night three real quick. Snowboarding, dance challenge, and snow trekker. In snow 22 minutes long, that's fine. What's up, bud? Hello! Hello, 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 hello! Hey, you're doing great! Uh, most people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they, they usually move on to other things right now. I'm not implying that you die. Okay. Uh, anyways, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are starting to get real tonight. Um, hey, listen, I had an idea. So, if you happen to get caught, and you want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, try playing dead, you know, go limp. And then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think you're an empty costume instead. Then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff you into an empty skeleton inside. I wonder how that would work. Yeah, never mind, uh, scratch that. It's best you not get caught. Um, okay, I'll leave you to it. See ya. And each mini game is only used one to three times throughout the entire game. But in Herbert's Revenge, it gets old quick. Every time in a mission, even in the ported ones, if you have to I can't hit his nose, I'm sad. Underground, you have to play Jackhammer, which happens five times throughout all missions. Every time you have to Why is that there? Like, you have to play Amazing Maze, which happens five times throughout all missions. Every time you have to climb something, you have to play ground Okay, action, cool. Which happens five times throughout all missions. And every time you have to stop the island from sinking, okay, it's just you Chica. have to play Aqua Rescue. It only happens once. Freddy, when did, when, did, yeah, when did you start moving, bud? Because unlike the others, it's not a tedious collect-a-thon. And I just realized there is a skip button for the mini-games in the missions. I'm idiotic. That would have saved me so much cool. time. But it proves that the mini games are too long and tedious if they added a skip button. I mean, Jesus Christ! In Mission 7, you have to play Amazing Maze two times. One literally right after the other. Okay, all three are coming after me. Foxy could be on the move soon. Next up, both games have wireless features to play multiplayer and to connect to the internet. One multiplayer option in Elite Penguin Force, named Command Coach, allows you to play missions 
where only one player can see certain items, which he has to circle so the other player can find them. I don't have the needed two game cards to play this mode, so I don't know much about it. Also, if you have two to four game cards, you can compete together in snowboarding, jetpack adventure, or dance challenge. But if you only have one game card, you can do double play with one other person. But oh, what's up, Freddy boy? Challenge, where one player comes up with dance moves, and the other player must copy them correctly. In Herbert's Revenge, the only multiplayer option is Command Coach for two players that have the card. If you only have one card, too bad. The only thing you can do is share a demo of Jackhammer. You can't play together. Okay. Man, a demo of a tedious collectathon will sure make other people want to buy the game. On an online feature, Epic boy. Force, you can transfer coins from the DS game to your online Penguin account. Read a newsletter, take a poll, and even download another mission, making the game last longer. Too bad all these services don't work anymore, especially downloading the bonus mission. Because if you wipe the game data cool. or get a new copy of the game, you can't download the mission. Unless someone who has a copy of the game with the mission downloaded shares it to you through the wireless function. Again, I regret destroying my first copy of the Penguin Force that had the mission downloaded on it. The mission was pretty fun, as your elite pupples white face themselves, and you have to figure out which is which. In Herbert's Revenge, the only online feature it has is that you can transfer coins from the DS game to your online payment account. Great. What about the island in the DS games? In Elite Penguin Force, if you're not doing any missions, you are free to wander around the island, talk to several NPCs, and access mini games from there, making this DS game feel like a true mobile version of Club Penguin. Freddy! Almost. I don't you know where you be. And other items for your Penguin with coins that you've earned, making you want to play more. The best part is, if you're playing on these dates, the island changes. And Where you go, boy? April Fools. Summer. Halloween. <laughs> Christmas. And there's even more missions. Broke. Specific to each holiday. My favorite one is the Halloween one. Where you have to guess who is who. And when each holiday is happening, you can find uh. any clothing items around the island. Now in Herbert's Revenge, you can't even wander around the island for fun. You can only wander around the island if you're playing a mission. And even then, depending on the mission, you can only access certain parts of the island. There's also nothing you can spend your power and coins on. The only thing you can do with them is a transfer to your online account. Okay, both doors are closed, which means a lot of them. discovered a glitch, where if I go into a level of Amazing Maze, where I have a high score, and quit without doing anything, it still gives me an amount of coins that matches my high score. I can keep on starting and quit without doing anything, and I still get that amount of coins somehow. Good programming! I think it's a one-time thing, cause when I reset the game and try to recreate it, it wasn't possible. In conclusion, Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force was an awesome DS game with tons to do and tons of effort poured into it. I mean, just look at all the things it achieved. Cool. And its sequel, Herbert's Revenge, is a <laughs> Wait, how did you get in? I tried to find out if this game I thought you were gone! But couldn't find anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and yes, I know that I'm doing this video at a perfect time. Well, I didn't know.